back with you now. Comes. Storms are building north. To southwest Wichita Falls now. Abilene up to southwest Wichita Falls. Storms are moving north, northeast, east, and east, northeast. Guys, uh, see the stream okay? Let me know if you can see the stream okay. Should be back up and running. All good. Okay, the stream's good. Thank you. Appreciate it. Looks like the storm back in Abley just produced uh, almost tennis ball, baseball size hail. Just north of Abley a few minutes ago. This storm rapidly moving to Albany. And another storm split off of it. Went up O'Brien, heading to uh, Crow. It's moving north, northeast. Other storms are moving east, northeast, and northeast. There's like five cells now, southwest of Wichita Falls. We'll see how this split's gonna happen. Back to my southwest. Temperatures are in the up, mid to upper 70s in the Red River Valley. So we'll have to see how this is gonna play out. There's a road back, back across the Red River over here, about four miles of a hold at that location. And see how these cells because they're moving so fast that once they I don't want to wait for the cells to get on me and then start moving I'm gonna pre-position to move ahead of time so I can either go back into southern Oklahoma or go east so I'm gonna hold just out the trail here in northwest Texas up to the east of Wichita Falls about 30 miles roughly in southeast we're gonna see how this stuff comes unfolding and it's rapidly moving up my southwest now about 50 won't take too much longer for it we we'll start having action up here it's now 4.11 Central Time. Stopping up here about two miles. They're going to get ready. It should be too much longer, about another hour max. We got storms back southwest, just trying to see which one's going to be the monster. However, it plays out. I've got one, two, three, one, two, three. Their storms went from a short line. They're now kind of bulging out because that negative tilted line, I've got storms. It's kind of an arcing line of storms now. It's like five cells now back about 75 miles southwest of Wichita Falls. And uh, some are moving east, some are moving east northeast, some are moving northeast. I've got, I've got uh, one now at Seymour. I've got, I do have a brand new cell now exploding over Seymour. 
moving northeast at 57 knots at 65 miles an hour. That's going to go west of Wichita Falls. That storm's going to go west of Wichita Falls. Storms are exploding now. It's like the Ford Flank Anvil debris is, is rapidly approaching southwest of Wichita Falls. Harold, Seymour. Lots of light in the Seymour area. Cells are splitting, splitting and kind of there's one turning right at Albany. It's, it's turning hard right. He's almost moving east, southeast, or due east now. Producing baseball size hill in Albany now. That's going to hit to Breckenridge. It's going to hit to Breckenridge down lane. If you're in that general area of Breckenridge, if that goes ahead and moves east, that'll eventually move into the, toward the Dallas Metroplex area, west northwest of there. Waiting for something to explode southwest of me. There's stuff back down southwest, but some of it's moving east and then east northeast. That will go well south of me, about 50 to 60 miles. So we'll see what happens. I've got the Seymour storm coming up. Just south of me here. Terrell, southwest, south central Oklahoma is just to my just to my north here. We can get up here, we're gonna stop. We can either go south here on 81, we got north in Oklahoma on 81, continue east on 82, four lane, great, great road. That's the road. There's that's the road right there. 81, 82. I'm gonna park over here. There we go. I'm gonna park right here in this open spot. Big on nice turn off. Okay, it shouldn't be too much longer. Get this big parking lot right here. I'm gonna get some other cameras ready. I gotta get some, actually, I gotta get some other cameras going here. I'll let you guys look southwest here. You can see the dark skies. That's back south of Wichita Falls. <clears throat> so I've gotta get some cameras up and running. Get those going. So we're getting other things ready here. Well, we've got time. Shouldn't take too much longer for things to go into high gear. Yep. I'm getting cameras set up in the cars, guys, and cameras outside, inside. Big cameras, small cameras, GoPros, mounts. It's time to get everything ready. Stream's going, right? You guys all good there on the stream? Yep. Live chat, that's good. What's up? Back in action, yes, we're back. Blue Shed, yes, we're ready. Hi, Jeff, yes. Yes, we're live. We're uh, east of Wichita Falls. The storms are coming up from the south of us now. And we're gonna wait and see how these <clears throat> storms, nothing to chase yet, but their storms are developing, already severe down north of Abilene, baseball size hail. A latest update down there based on the radar analysis. So that's ongoing. Yep, people are letting schools out early tomorrow, it says. There's that. Boom. There's that. There's this. There's that going in there. Okay, care about that. Yep, there's that. Okay, those guys are good. <clears throat> Do, do, do. Time 
time to get busy. Yep. Getting everything matted here, guys. Got multiple plugins. Beautiful. That's beautiful. Yes, it's charging. That's on. That's on. Okay, time to get more cameras ready. I'm going to have cameras everywhere. When things go down today, <laughs> cameras are going to be rolling everywhere. Will not be a shortage of cameras today. But any way, shape, or form. I got another camera out that's newer. Okay, that's a wrong box. Got to get out of the car. Awesome. Woo. Get all the cameras going, guys. Won't be much longer, but another hour we're going to have. The cells so far are kind of split and merging, sp splitting in two. Just got to gotta really be situation aware. Watch what's going on back southwest. There's a new one's form. They'll, they'll, it'll happen fast. Besides, they're moving at 50. Getting really dark back to my west. Yeah, watch out for everybody. Yeah. Boom. Okay, there's that. Yes, there we go. Beautiful. I love it. You're so gorgeous. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yes. HDR standard 16 by 9. Yes. 4K 30. Yes. Oh, I can go to 60 on that one. That's nice. That's okay. That's beautiful. Okay. That's, I'm just making comments here about my uh, settings. Okay. Natural. Let's see. I might want to change that. I go to, yep. Just change that one. Okay. Beautiful. All right. Just make sure all my settings are, are, are proper. Okay, the date is correct. The time is correct. This is really important. You got to have all your time set synced correctly. They are. That's good. GPS is on. That's good. Yes, we're good. We're good. We're good. Calculating. Okay, beautiful. Okay, nope. Beautiful. All right, I got. That's totally ready. That guy is ready. Ready, Eddie. There we go. That one's ready. It's another high end camera. Okay, I'm gonna put him down and start him on a charger on this other side I'm gonna turn this guy off get all these cameras ready guys it's once we go it's got to be go time yep that's good yep turn that off beautiful let this guy charge a little bit there he's charging okay. All right, guys, we're live. We're east of Wichita Falls. Just waiting for things to start cranking, and they will be very shortly. Gotta get, another, get another mount out. I gotta grab my big mount.
Hey. I'm doing great. Get everything ready. That's good. Hey there, we're just east of Wichita Falls, southeast. Storms are coming up from the south. You gotta see how these things are gonna split, what they're gonna do. Storm at Seymour, looks like a left splitter. They're slowly coming up, nothing too exciting right now. Four thirty. Storms are about seventy-five miles southwest of me, fifty to seventy-five miles southwest. Storms southwest of Wichita Falls are coming up in intensity, uh, not uh, uh, kind of more like forward flank uh, precip from the storms back southwest. The heaviest storms by right far uh, off of there. Yep. Thank you, appreciate that. Thank you so much. Yep. Got a left splitter that's uh, it's gonna move north up into up toward Vernon. Very interesting. That's a this it's a left splitter. Took off north. Still waiting for additional storms to develop closer. And they are definitely coming up in intensity. But the most solid concentration right now is to the northeast of Abilene. There, Albany's got a very intense storm now, just north and east of uh, Wichita Falls. That storm has a forward flank. Yeah, I'd say that I I would go as far as saying maybe a develop, maybe no warning yet, but maybe a developing tornado. Developing tornado. Uh, forward flank, kind of a the the front edge is sticking out. We've got a forward flank. Yeah, hook uh, east of Albany. It's a fronter. Yeah, it's frontal. It's got to be going near northeast of Albany. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. I see what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm going to position. I'm going to change my course here a little bit. Let's just see here. I'm trying to look what's going on here. All right. There's. I, I see what I'm doing here. Okay, guys. I'm I'm changing courses. I'm gonna change course here. I'm gonna. This is all for nothing. Here we go. I'm changing. Here we go. I see what's happening. So I've got a developing tornado set back to my southwest. No tornado warning yet, but a developing tornado now developing southwest. Let's see. Boom, 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 boom. That's 82. Do, do. Let me see if that's a. Okay, I gotta go turn right here. All right, can't go the other way. I turn right. Develop, developing tornado down by Albany. That storm has got a rocket northeast. It's gonna go just to my south, barely. So we're gonna go back south here on 81. Just changed my course. <clears throat> we'll see what the other stuff does. I'm southbound and down. Let's see what happens. Okay guys, we're in chase mode now. Get the cameras rolling here. This is live, we're gonna be uh, Watch the storms. We've got supercells back to southwest now, rapidly developing. They've been going and got to come out of northwest of Abilene. The storm is getting better and better organized now. It's in the Albany area. Got a forward flank, kind of a uh, finger, almost like a QCL type uh, notch sticking out just east of Abilene there. It does have rotation. Probably not strong enough, it's just north of the uh, DICE radar site. Again, it's, 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 it's kind of a QCL type circulation. No tornado warning yet. Do you have a severe thunderstorm warning with that storm? It does have an increasing uh, couplet, kind of a QCL type couplet to the uh, back to the back to the northeast, to the east northeast of Albany, Texas. Let's we'll see what happens here. It's taking out a little bit more and more.
in to uh, Twist and Chasers Live this afternoon. We're chasing across the Red River Valley, northwest and north central Texas into south central Oklahoma this evening. It's now a little after 4.30 p.m. we got storms that continue to increase in coverage uh, back southwest of Wichita Falls, oh, south and also back uh, south of Quan. There's a, a left splitter there. It has some baseball sized hail earlier. Tennis ball back to the north of Abilene. There's a storm that's got a QCL type pinage on it now near Al uh, Albany. It's to the northeast of Albany. That's to the north of the uh, Dias radar site. And that storm is rapidly, it says northeast, at, and it's it's rocketing. You see how it's, it's moving so fast. That's kind of east northeast on the Albany storm. You can see where it says east northeast at 37. It's going to go north of Brickenridge, then probably just south of Graham. We'll see where it, we'll see where it takes it. There's also some storm splitting in Throckmorton area, so there's a lot of splitting of the cells now. Throckmorton in that whole area, there's a lot of cells splitting to go in different directions. But we'll see how this unfolds. Yeah, he's these guys, yeah, there's that's high cirrus that's able to bring back to my southwest coming up at me from Abilene and back south of Wichita Falls, just southeast of Wichita Falls. So it's back southwest of Wichita Falls, kind of forward flank the more intense cells are obviously back to the northeast of Abilene at this moment. That negative tilt of waves though is coming up. Shows her cells starting to develop nearest as well. Keeps much of the size for me to make sure we've got a severe thunderstorm warning across northern Oklahoma. That's up near, that's up west of, northwest of Burlesville. Looks like you had a big storm with big hail go up north of uh, Copan. Uh, Canyon's got a big supercell right now. That's on the Kansas Oklahoma border north of Tulsa. Severe thunderstorm warnings up there. Let me look at velocity couplet. I've uh, got a Got a couplet just south of Caney with a hook form in south of Caney. That's going to go Tyro. It's going to go over to uh, Coffeeville, Kansas on the Kansas Oklahoma border. That's northeast of Tulsa. North northeast of Tulsa. That storm is starting to show signs of rotation. No tornado warnings for a thunderstorm warning. That storm is starting to uh, develop a, a, a hook on it and it's uh, hugging both sides of the road. Caney down to Copan. It's a big open face hook at this point. Rocking northeast. Now, this is for a thunderstorm uh, back over Bahuska. It's also showing signs of rotation now with it. But the one, the, the more immediate ones, the one just south of Caney. If it goes east, watch that storm. The Caney storm is uh, continuing to ramp up more and more with the hook. No tornado warnings for a thunderstorm warning at this point. Circulation is not tight, but watch that storm crossing across southeast Kansas there. That storm looks very intense now. Yep. Eric Fox. Yeah, just a bit. Yes, Eric. Yes, Eric. Said again. I, I, I didn't hear you, Eric. Hey, million dollar question, buddy. I don't know. Million dollar question. I, I don't like the stuff immediately like south of Wichita Falls as far as going in berserk mode. I think it's going to be the stuff between Abilene and Wichita Falls. Some of, one of those is going to go. Uh, uh, one of those is going to go. Uh, it's going to be the main one, and we'll see how it comes northeast. I, that's all. That's that's what I know at this second. You're aware of it? Are you, are you in Wichita Falls? Yeah. Yeah, I'm back east here. Yes. No, I know. I know. We'll just, there you go, tilt your waves coming up. We'll see what happens. Thank you, buddy. If he, I don't know of anything right now. We'll see what happens. No, 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 buddy. I mean, I'm, I'm in, I'm, uh, I'm in Texas. I'm northwest of, uh, I'm southeast of Wichita Falls, about 40 miles. I'm just seeing what's happening with that negative tilted lobe coming up. Thank you, buddy. You should know, but within by you know 5:30, we should have something going for sure. Thanks, buddy. Bye -bye.
it's just other people checking. Uh, everybody's wanting to know where everybody's at. And uh, again, nothing too earth shattering right now in this immediate region. But uh, some thunderstorms back, really back. Best thing going right now is really back toward Albany to the northeast of uh, of Abilene. That's the, the most intense storm looking storm right now. And it's walking off to the east northeast up toward. Um, Gotta go north of Breckenridge, trying to figure out where it's going. It may end up going to Jacksboro or just south of Jacksboro. It's kind of hard as it lifts up this way. I'm gonna drop down here to buoy. And then at buoy, I'm gonna watch and assess the situation as that stuff's back to my southwest. It's coming up at about 50 miles an hour. Won't take much longer. Matter of fact, as you're looking at my live stream now, there's a tiring, there's some towers off to the right side. You can see that mid-level deck coming in. That's from the storms back to my southwest. Uh, with uh, uh, bands of, uh, you know, stuff feeding in the storms. We're gonna watch this stuff coming up from the southwest here. It's the red thunderstorm warnings back southwest about maybe 50 miles, moving northeast at about 50. About one hour away before storms get over here. Looks like schools are closing early tomorrow in Alabama, uh, preparing for an outbreak of severe weather, including tornadoes. Yep. Able to breathe, yep. Yeah, damage and winds. Yeah, the wind, the wind and the, just the wind alone today, guys. You know, 70, 85 on our winds with baseball to softball size so sail will do massive damage. Matter of fact, in some aspects, uh, well, it, it is. If you get a big hill core with, you know, 75 mile winds and baseball hill, that'll actually create, that'll do more dollar damage than if you get a tornado that's like 200 yards wide or quarter mile wide. Going through the countryside, obviously it's going to do damage also. But you get a hail storm that you know that's baseball hail and, and 85 mile an hour winds, you're going to have a much higher damage uh, event with that, right? Potentially, potentially, I guarantee you, but potentially. I can tell you that the models have been pretty persistent today. That was it's going to be closer to six ish, 5:30 to 6:30 is when things go into high gear. Still watch those storms up on the Kansas Oklahoma border. Yeah, the storm just produced some gargantuan hail west of Copan up there. Ooh. Tyro, watch, watch that storm. It's coming down the Oklahoma Kansas border. Storm is getting meaner and meaner looking on radar. That's going to track over to Darling, Coffeeville, Liberty. This is downline in about 30 minutes. Montana, Oswego. Just south or near Parsons, south of Parsons, McCoon, and then eventually Columbus, Scrammon, and Cherokee, southeast Kansas. Joplin, it should, that storm should pass to your northwest in about an hour from now. That storm has a very strong uh, rotation is increasing on it and very big hail in that storm. Does show a TVS. I've got three and a half inch hair baseball going to softball size hell now on the Kansas Code border north of Tulsa. Zero thunderstorm warning now. That's that large supercell is tracking east, northeast, hugging the Kansas Code border. It's going to move it all into Kansas here shortly, extreme southeast Kansas. And that storm is going to uh, produce, it has a massive, massive. Uh, Hell core now, uh, baseball size hell. Tyro just to the northeast of Caney, Kansas, southeast of Havana. I've got about a five mile by five mile baseball hell uh, attribute on that storm. It's got a liberty. You're down. You're downline of that storm. Coffeeville, you're going to catch some, probably the southern edge at baseball size hell. Liberty, you're going to be in the direct path at baseball or softball size hell. You're in about 15 minutes. This is south central Kansas. Looking at the Tulsa radar, an extremely severe supercell now. Uh, the, continues to intensify and move northeast, east northeast. Train weather spot, uh, fire department rescue reports 70 mile an hour wind gusts as that storm passed. So you got damaging winds with baseball size hail with that storm, extremely uh, destructive severe thunderstorm uh, in southern possible tornado, possible tag now, uh, possible tornado tag now, 70 mile an hour winds. Damage threat is considerable. This is a uh, this is going to be a considerable damage severe thunderstorm warning now on the Kansas Oklahoma border north of Tulsa. It's got to go to Coffeyville. We've got a large hook echo, baseball size hail. Damage has been reported back at Caney from the uh, uh, looks like they got the RFD wrap around around the circulation. And it's going to be tracking rapidly off across southeast Kansas, Parsons, the area between Parsons, Edna, 
Altoona, Montana, you're in the path of a very destructive severe thunderstorm, especially immediately. It's uh, Tyrone, you're right in the middle of the, of the inflow notch. I got gate to gate shear now on either side of the border, but Ty Road, you've got extreme uh, wind shear there and also just north of Juan, gate to gate shear. May have a tornado warning soon on the storm coming down the Kansas Oklahoma border, rapidly moving east, east northeast, just north of the Kansas Oklahoma border. Now it's moving almost 100% into Kansas now. Circulation continues to tighten on that storm. May have a tornado warning soon on the Kansas Oklahoma border south of Ty Road. This storm is going to move to the east northeast. 88 mile hour wind gets in Albany, right? Okay, just now. And thank you for the update on streaming live. 88 mile hour wind re been reported back to me now. Yep. Okay, south, far southeast Kansas. You've got to be situation where you've got a large, extremely uh, severe thunderstorm. I call it a large, considerable, damaging, considerable severe thunderstorm supercell with its baseball going to softball size hail. Possible developing tornado circulation is getting stronger with a with a tag near Tyrone. A possible tornado with that storm. Daring, you're in the path of baseball size hail or larger. Wow, the storm is really really wicked now. That storm at the bare minimum is going to produce. It's got giant hail being reported with it now on the radar. Giant hail is the, is the tag on it. Three inch solid now, three three inch solid, 100% chance of three inch diameter hail, TBS, max RV, 40 knots down to 7,000 feet. Rotation continues to increase on the storm in southeast Kansas. Southeast Kansas, large, uh, destructive severe thunderstorm now. Past Caney, it's immediately to the west of Coffeyville. It's got kind of a more of an east, east, northeast. It's gonna, the bottom of the hook is gonna go over or very close to Coffeyville. Circulation, I got two circulations. One's just northeast of uh, Tyro, and the other one is uh, back southeast. Back to the west, southwest of Daring, southeast Kansas. Extremely severe thunderstorm. Let's go back down here, back south here. Thunderstorm warnings. Let's see the, let's see the tag back south of me. Yep, northeast of Albany. Look up, Mesonet. Yeah, wind gust 88. And that's a Mesonet automated sensor, 88 mile an hour wind gust. So, very destructive winds now on the storm back to my southwest. The bare minimum, baseball size hail, 88 mile an hour winds will do ext extreme destruction. It's the same thing as almost having a tornado go by, right? Like a low end tornado, you get 80 mile, 88 mile an hour winds with those kind of uh, uh, hail, golf ball, baseball hail, it'll do a lot of damage. So we're at Throttonmorton, south of Wichita Falls is getting a little bit better. It's also moving east northeast. Got a storm west of Wichita Falls. It's a left mover. It's heading up toward Frederick and Vernon. It's probably a hell producer. Storm looks like it's getting better organized at Breckenridge. Let me switch radars here. Yeah, Breckenridge looks pretty decent. I'm going to Fort Worth radar now. It's what to say look north the couplet. Not bad. Diocese are better. Big hell core tracking off to the east northeast. Again, nothing really volatile right now in the Red River Valley. I do, okay, there's, okay, I do have something new. I do have something new. Hang on. Let's see, let's see what the echo tops are. Okay, I new, have new cells going up now near Henrietta, southeast of Wichita Falls. New echo tops going up. New cells not expected yet, but they're developing. Henrietta, also uh, Warwicka, Oklahoma. That's going to be south and east of Lawton, about 30 miles. you got new towers going up rapidly now, uh, right on the either side of the Red River now, southeast of Wichita Falls. New towers are going up. Five new cells are rapidly developing now. Terrell, Henrietta, uh, Warwicka on the Red River, east, northeast of Wichita Falls, southeast of Lawton. Cells are going up now on a line. A new line's forming. Well, we'll see how this plays out. The storm's down at Throckmorton and down south there or continue to rocket to the east northeast and there are new cells now going up to my northwest looking down here to buoy you guys still watch on the live stream thank you for your support there appreciate that the most the most dangerous severe storm right now uh, it's obviously the one on the Kansas Oklahoma border. Just moved into Kansas. That's an extreme. Uh, it's also got a large hook echo with baseball or larger hail. Circulation is intensifying now. Should have a tornado warning very soon now. Circulation is just southwest of Daring. And uh, the rotation with hook is moving east northeast. It's going to clear. It's going to go very close to Coffeyville or just north of Coffeyville. 
Caulfield, Kansas, large destructive severe thunderstorm. You also have cells developing south of Coffeyville that are or they're coming north and merging with a supercell. The supercell is like a big vacuum cleaner. So I got cells that are south of the storm, south of the hook, racing north into the storm. And the storm is getting more and more intense. This is a classic sign of a intense supercell, may become a tornadic supercell very quickly now. Circulations continue to intensify southwest of, of Daring. We're going to have a tornado warning any minute now, any second. Daring area, developing tornado southwest of Daring per the last scan. Let's, let's switch over to Wichita, see what they see. Tulsa shows it's developing circulation now. It's getting stronger. So it shouldn't be too much longer. We're going to have a tornado warning probably there in southeast Kansas. Tulsa is watching it, I'm sure, very closely. Now, very large. Got an open, open hook. A little bit of rain in the hook. Again, west of Coffeville, Daring area is the inflow notch. The southwest is west and southwest of Daring is on the highway there on, on the road over to, to uh, Coffeville seems to be the main area. Looks like the hook just passed that road is now uh, Daring's kind of in the, in the vault area of the hook and the extremely large hail uh, baseball, a softball size hail is north of, of Daring, uh, Kansas. That's northwest of Coffeville. Extremely destructive, severe thunderstorm. Massive hail. Okay, so what Tyro just reported. Two inch diameter hail re reported at Tyro. And just north of them is still showing three inch diameter hail now. Three inch diameter hail. Rotation is kind of maintaining, not going off the, off the ropes yet, but it's it's an extremely large supercell. Very large supercell now. Across extreme southeast Kansas. Oklahoma is pretty void of anything major going on right now. It's a few storms in west and north central. Do have a severe thunderstorm warning now moving into uh, just about to cross the border in about 15 minutes back southwest at Frederick Radar. It's going to go over Vernon and then cross in to the extreme southwest Oklahoma. This is the left mover south of Altus. That's the left mover. No, most of the time, those just produce uh, just damaging winds and hail as a rule of thumb, but not always, right? Things can change. So far, nothing too bad back southwest, except that one storm that's got a kind of an open face couplet just northwest of Brickendridge now. That's going to head to Graham. Okay. I'm at Bowie, Texas, coming into Bowie, Texas. Now, the ice cream cone was dissipated. It was consumed, and it was actually quite good. I'm in the Bowie, Texas area. Back to the west of Gainesville. I'm going to see what's back west. I've got a, a storm. Uh, with a slight pin inch on it now coming out of Throckmorton. It's moving east northeast. It's going to go north or near north of Jacksboro. That's the storm that's going to generally track toward me. Then you got that cluster of storms back farther south of that one. It's back to the northwest of Brickenridge. That's moving east northeast. That'll eventually go to north of Grafford, Portland, south of Jacksboro, and then eventually possibly Decatur. Possibly Decatur. Okay. Make a decision here. Which way to go? Gotta watch the traffic. There we go. Like I say, sometimes we get on these storms, they don't always go as planned. I'm in Bowie right now. Bowie, Texas, southeast of Wichita Falls. different options here. Okay. Trying to decide whether to go northeast or possibly southeast. But watch these storms back southwest to be coming up. 
So far, the Wichita Falls lot area is just a stratiform rain, and it's moving to the northeast. Nothing too exciting. The more the intense storms are awfully down south here, and we'll see what they do. That's road north. That goes up to Gainesville. It branches over to Gainesville. I do have a storm that has split off the, the cluster that's over Throckmorton and that's got my attention. The stuff at Brickenridge is kind of just a, a line moving east. Back over here to the main street. There's the police department. Let's get back over here. Let's um, head up northeast. It was about 5:30 ish when the storms went into crazy mode here. So far, again, not too far out of sync. Southeast Kansas, the most severe storm right now in the whole plains is uh, the storm that's at Coffeyville, Kansas right now, just north of Coffeyville. Tracking off to the east-northeast. Just a large supercell baseball hill. Big hill went north of Coffeyville, thank goodness. It's got Liberty is going to be in the path of the big hill. Shows three and a quarter, just almost over baseball hill now. Head for Liberty. Liberty, you're, you're going to have destructive hail. Liberty, Kansas, north of Coffee. You're going to have very destructive hail moving in the city in the next one or two minutes. Yeah. Baseball is probably very likely in, in Liberty. Baseball size hail. Tennis ball, baseball size hail. Again, no tornado right now. It's still an open face hook. And it continues to track off to the east northeast across southeast Kansas. We're going to continue to track off to the east northeast here. Again, nothing too exciting right now in Oklahoma. They've got some storms slowly coming up now east of the east of Wichita Falls, north of Wichita Falls. We've got some stuff trying to develop. Embedded showers. They've got a couple new lighting strikes now. Chattanooga, southwest of Lawton. That stuff's trying to intensify. You got the left mover that's over west of Vernon. It's split left. And then you got this other stuff that's down south. Throckmorton has got my attention, and so is the other store. They're both very interesting looking uh, in the sense of like structure, and they start doing that splitting. And, and once they once they split out and get out ahead of the line, or kind of go out on their own, they they can start going into beast mode pretty quick. Got another storm back south of uh, Putnam. It's back south of the interstate down there. It also has uh, an increasing on that storm. 
It's going to be south of the radar site there at Abilene. And again, just north of Brickenridge, some large hail there. Not too bad. Probably golf ball size hail. A tornado possible on the storm down south. Considerable hail damage. There's a, a tornado tag possible, 30 inch baseball size hail northwest of Breckenridge. It does have a tornado tag, not a warning, but a tag on it. That's about 70 miles, 60 miles southwest of me. You know what? Man, it's tough here. I'm going to do a quarterback sneak here. All right, I'm going to change my mind. I changed my mind. I just, I, I like how that storm has been persistent. I was looking at the track. It's going to come in south of me down here. I'm going to, I'm going to take it. I'm going to go southeast and get in front of that storm down there. We'll just see what it does. Maybe it's just a big hailer. But it's up and going. Yeah. Uh, that was awesome. Wow, kind of an open face hook now down there at Breckenridge. Big open, just kind of an open faced hook. Nothing too crazy right now. Thwaiten Morton Storm is okay, but not too exciting. Interesting. Got a new cell going up to my north, up at Ryan, Heddleton. Okay. Some stuff back southwest of Ringland starting to pop up. You know what? There's some new stuff going up. Wow. What do you think of this line down here, North Texas? A storm up at Coffeyville's got, or Northeast Coffeyville's got baseball hail in it, and 80, you know, with a whole open hook passing just north of Coffeyville. Talking about the you talk about the one old self at Vernon there. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yep, yep. Anything else you see that catches your attention? Right. Yep, yep, yep. That's what I'm thinking too. 
That's what I'm thinking too. Yeah, the um, um, same thing. I, I saw the storm at Throckmorton. It, it split off that line, that negative tilted line. That middle one looks good. Obviously, the one down south that's had all the warnings on it looks really, you know, that, that one's headed to Decatur, it looks like, Denton Decatur area. Um, I'm probably, the models say as the line pivots east northeast, the tornado parameter starts skyrocketing from probably Decatur, but really up toward Gainesville and southeast of home, the tornado parameters skyrocket. Once you get past six, seven o'clock, they just, they just, I mean, here in about an, about an hour or two hours, about two hours from now max, the tornado parameters just, just go through the roof with, with these storms as they come northeast. Up, then, then you're in trouble. Yeah, that's what's going to happen. You're right. That's exactly what's going to happen. Okay, man, I'm going to go. I'm going to. I'm, I'm basically heading to Gainesville in that general direction. Thank you, buddy. Bye bye. Just talking to other people that's looking at stuff. And basically, the, the storm's out, putting more outflow out right now. Um, with the storm's more straight line damage and winds because of the uh, strong mid level winds. But as soon as the um, as soon as the 850 starts ramping up, then uh, you can change courses of what's happening right now with that line back south of me. I'm gonna continue to the northeast and let's see what happens. Cells are trying to slowly ramp up over Wichita Falls. Nothing too earth shattering right but they are slowly, slowly intensifying. Not, they're kind of a, it's kind of more like anvil to anvil, forward flank anvil debris from the stuff south. You've got that storm south of Vernon that's severe warned. It looks interesting. That left split. You got the big damage of winds back southwest of me coming out. So watching that Throckmorton storm, it's got that line is as that mid-level jet cuts in that line, the storms are should start separating instead of a kind of a northeast, northwest, south, southeast broken line, some kind of miniature squall line look now. That over the next couple hours, it should start turning into bigger storms and start separating and start becoming uh, intense supercells, especially in that six o'clock time frame, 536 o'clock time frame. Let them get east about another county, just west of I-35, maybe. Yeah, about two counties west of 35, they should start going into really intense, intense mode. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be more of a QCL. Yeah, QCL is definitely, definitely on the table. South of Jacksboro, that storm's headed to Perlin. It's going to head to Decatur, which is not that far southeast of me. Okay, we've got lighting now. I've got new storms rapidly developing now. They're, they don't show much on echoes, and I've got on radar, I've got lighting now developing from Terrell. Uh, back southwest of Pendleton and Bellevue, the southeast of Henrietta, Texas. Brand new lighting, uh, lots of lighting now, rapidly forming on new cells going up. It, it looks like 5 dBC on radar, very small rain showers on radar, but uh, there is there is uh, lighting increasing now, back southwest, back to my west of my location. Marcher City, Henrietta, lighting is increasing now. Uh, See what happens. Maybe we're going to have a storm hyper explode here. We've got showers to our northwest, west, and southwest ahead of these storms. And new lightning's forming now out ahead of the line. The dynamics are coming, so we'll see what happens here.
head kind of the general direction of Gainesville, that general direction. So I can either go south if the stuff back southwest of me goes berserk mode, or if the stuff at me like west northwest that's going to be rocking up into south central Oklahoma west of Ardmore uh, goes in beast mode. But uh, things are continuing to develop. Nothing too out of control right now. Go back to the radar and look up at Kansas. That is probably the most severe storm in the entire United States right now. Still severe warrant out of Tulsa. I believe it had a tornado tag on it while I go. It's just producing just massive hail. Showed the range down or hail on the hail attribute. Yep. And we're turning. Bound and see what happens here. We'll get over here at 59 and 82 and we'll head on up northeast there. I'm going to check another area for possible tornadoes. See what's happening. Nope, don't see no tornadoes up there. They have an MD, but no tornadoes yet. Okay, I'm looking up in northern Missouri. Supercells. Okay, I do have supercells dropping, developing now. Got some warnings back southwest of, yeah, back west of St. Louis. Supercells are now forming southeast of Columbia and southwest of Columbia. Supercells are all developing. This is west of St. Louis. You gotta watch those. There's a whole bunch of storms back to my southwest here. Nothing too bad right now. That's good, right? It's not always an outbreak, even though the bottles say it looked like it was. Still, it's not over. It's very early because the storms weren't supposed to go into super beast mode until like after seven. That's when the low level jet ramps up, you know, six, seven o'clock as you get closer to the I 35 corridor, and that's when they go, that's when they get pretty intense. Right now, I'm going to be approaching uh, St. Joe, coming in from the southwest of St. Joe. Do we have new showers and thunderstorms developing? Not exploded yet, but it's starting to come up in intensity. That's going to be uh, Wilson, Oklahoma, Hamilton, and back down to Dakota, back to my west, a new lighting terror. That northwest 20 miles, I've got storms developing. Can't see them visually, but I can tell you that, uh, at least on radar, that you can see cells developing there. Yeah, there's a, there, is, there is a lot of cells now forming. Maybe, in fact, there might be some cells going up north, northeast of Ardmore now, developing. Let's look at different radars here. Some of it's kind of mid level. No, there's, there's storms developing. There's definitely storms off the Norman radar. Uh, Kona, southwest of Wilson, there are storms going up. They haven't exploded, but they are developing. They're just like 25 dBs east. They're, they're just at very early stages of developing. And that's the general area where the, the model said they would, would explode around that 530 time frame. And they're starting to do that. strong right now at the surface in southern Oklahoma. They're south southeast are like 10 knots, not very strong. That's one of the problems right now. The winds at the surface are very weak, about 10 miles an hour, not very strong southeast winds. That's why the storms back southwest are, are, are being more of a blowout because you don't have the low level jet to uh, get the winds to, uh, you know, push against the, the, uh, the, the strong outbound winds. Cells are developing just to our northwest that just slowly, the word slowly would be uh, the best thing to say, 
slowly intensified, very slowly. I'm just going to head over to I-35 since nothing's really out of control at this point. Bad storms around, actually, in Texas, is the storms either side of Abilene down there or southeast of Abilene. Breaking Ridge and then uh, Potman on the interstate down there, heading over to Eastland. There's a couple LP supercells. They look pretty decent. Got some hail in them, some wind. They're moving down the interstate there. This will be back west of Fort Worth. Better Wells. Those storms are going to head to Bridgeport. Pearly Crawford and eventually come down the interstate there. And they'll eventually end up being somewhere west, northwest of the, of the Metroplex. Everybody's doing okay this afternoon. Now this country road, Highway 59 North, connects up to 82 here in a few minutes, and we'll start heading east over to Gainesville. Cells are going up now, west of Ardmore. That exploded, just very slowly growing, very slowly. It's slowly is probably the key word. They're not hyper exploding, they're just slowly coming up in intensity. There are new cells going up. But again, not, not very big deal. New severe thunderstorm warning for southwest Oklahoma. Severe, that left mover is still producing pretty good size hail. Okay, it may have a storm exploding now. Stand by. That looks like I do. Boom, there it goes. Stand by. Got a brand new cell exploding in Oklahoma. Okay, there we go. Temple Hasty storm is exploding west of Warwick. Storm is hyper exploding west of Warwick, just like the bottle said it was. And there it goes, boom! It just exploded. Brand new cell now. The brand new storm, not a supercell yet. Brand new cell though is hyper exploding on the Wind River north of Byers and west of Hastings, and west northwest of Warwick. It is exploding. The storm is rapidly intensifying now. So I, I already know what my plan is. That's to my northwest about 35 to 40. That's going to take off and head northeast up toward Falls Valley. So it, it got in Oklahoma and just exploded. We'll see what it ends up, see how intense it ends up being. It just now went up. So it's going to take it, you know, 15, 20 minutes here to get established. And then we'll see the track on it. Looks like to the northeast. Lots of lightning with it. Tons of lightning with it now. It's a brand new echo top. It's a brand new storm. It came out of that, that mid-level rain, rain, convective rain. It's over Temple. It's in southeast, south central, southwest Oklahoma, excuse me. Brand new cell just went up in fires. Just boom. That that rain shield got to it and it just exploded. So the energy's coming out right now. So it's doing, actually, it's, it's doing extremely well because the model said there's going to be a storm exploding somewhere in that vicinity. It, it developed just a little bit, probably about 25 miles more northeast than it had on the model from two hours ago. So not that far off. Storm southwest still looked decent. See what this new storm does. That other storms now, uh, they haven't exploded yet, but brand new showers are rapidly developing now. Also in the Wilson area, they have exploded, but they are rapidly, the showers are rapidly developing there with 35 dBZ echoes now. We'll see if that, we'll see if the top comes off that one. I'm getting, I'm getting small fills coming up on that one as well. Now I've got 35 dBCs now southwest of Wilson. That's also developing now. That's going to be immediately to my northwest, not very far, about 20 miles. got a line of storms now. I don't see anything, but it shows there's a line of echoes now forming on top of me. And we'll see what happens. The 
that storm coming out of southwest Oklahoma is pretty decent. It's not nearly as intense as the stuff back down toward the northeast and southeast of uh, Abilene. That's kind of more of a broken line cluster, kind of more of a semi squall line QCL type event. Was produced in Lawrence Hill earlier. That's kind of that's out on, uh, on the downhill side. It's weakened a little bit. The cell at uh, Hastings and Temple is slowly coming up. 55 dBZ echoes now. Yep, looks really good now. Again, nothing, just very early on. It's going to take it 15, 20 minutes. The field density is coming up on it. Everything continues to increase on the Temple storm. how this unfolds. Those attributes are to the northeast. Yeah, northeast. Okay, got a bunch of new lightnings coming up. I don't, I see very little precip with it, but I've got a ton of new lightning now. South of Ryan and the Ryan area, I've got a bunch of lightning now coming down. Could be able to bring leftover lightning, but, uh, but our new cells are going up. Probably the Ryan uh, Torrell area, a bunch of new strikes there. So it looks like storms are starting to rapidly develop now on the Red River. Nothing severe, not even close to it, but they're just, they're coming up. And they're coming up exactly where the model said they were going to come up. Two new cells going up at Wilson, southwest of Wilson, southwest of Ardmore. Cells are developing. So we go eastbound on 82 now. That stuff in southern Kent, southern Oklahoma goes ahead and blows. Then I'll be able to intercept it pretty quick. Or if there's stuff back to my southwest decides to go nuts, I can drop south of 35 and grab it. This is St. Joe City Limits. speed 35 still a severe thunderstorm warning in southeast Kansas that big large severe storm there some other cells develop around it Looks like it's getting kind of messy up there. It does have a little bit of a couplet, not too crazy. It does have still a large hail, but other cells have now formed around that cell. Okay. Fort Worth radar sees cells developing immediately to my north, south of Wilson. The radar from Fort Worth sees those cells developing now. The storm back at Hastings now has got a, is that a warning or I've got a special weather statement. Three quarter inch hail, maybe 800 hail strong. Okay, we've got a storm now. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, so not severe, not tornadic yet. Uh, the storm at Hastings is, is now exploding. It's got a hail rapidly developing on it. It's gonna be just to the northwest of Warwicka. And that's going to, it's going to move north, northeast, rapidly up toward Lindsay. That's going to end up going up toward, we'll see if it turns right. It looks like right now projection is going to go Lindsay and then maybe Purcell, south of Norman. It, it, it doesn't have an attribute across I-35, but it's got a north, northeast. That storm is exploding. Another storm now is going up rapidly over Duncan. That storm is exploding also. Two brand new cells exploded now. Went from showers to full-blown thunderstorms, almost severe now. I've got more showers rapidly developing in the Wilson area, back building to the Red River near Leon. That's probably the next cell that's about to explode. I can tell you, uh, getting back closer over this way, that uh, it's very humid. What's my temperature? I'm 75 degrees and probably the low 70 on the dew points or near 70. It's very hazy, thick haze. And actually, if you look on my uh, live stream, you can see towers now to, back to my left developing. You can see some towers, some mid-level towers. Look how, look how hazy it is here, folks. Very, very thick haze. It's like super sticky. Yep. Wow, that storm back to my northwest about 50 miles just exploded. Wow. Radars get different perspectives. Things are changing rapidly now. But call it a supercell yet. It's just developing a severe thunderstorm at this point. That's in Hastings. No rotation yet. Uh, quite a bit of lightning. Matter of fact, a ton of lightning with that storm that just rapidly developed with a heavy on it. And 
that the Ville density is over Hastings and it's growing. It's got kind of an attribute change. It was north northeast and now it's more northeast. It shows an attribute to Comanche and then over to Velma. And then just to the northwest of Loco. That might be, and then if it turns right, it might go near Paul's Valley or near Davis. North of Davis. If it turns right. Stand by, stand by, stand by. I've got another situation. Okay, here we go. It's, it's things are really ramping up now. Uh, storm banks. I got a brand new severe thunderstorm warning that just came out back south of me. That's the storm that came out of uh, back west there that had the big hill in it. Uh, three and a half baseball hail. Let's see if they put a tag on it. This is a Fort Worth National the Service Fort Worth now. Okay, let's see what we've got here. The storm's getting bigger. There we go. Uh, let's see what the tag said. Two inch diameter hill observed. Uh, considerable severe thunderstorm warning. Damage two inch. And it's moving winds to 70 miles an hour. Let's see what the warning says. Uh, two inch diameter hill observed. Considerable damage. National Service Fort Worth at 520. Doppler radar indicates severe thunderstorm in southeast Jung County, north central Texas, southern Jack County, north central Texas, northwest Parker County, northwest Texas, northeast Stevens County, north central Texas, till, till 615 Central Standard Time. At 518, severe thunderstorm was located over Possum Kingdom State Park, moving east at 50 miles an hour, moving east at 50. Tunes Diamond Hill was reported with this storm at 70 mile hour winds. So this is basically the tornado watch is in effect. So that storm is a large hill producer. It's going to go Jacksboro. It's going to go to South Jacksboro. That will eventually go toward Decatur, the northwest suburbs of Fort Worth in about an hour. That's just back to the southwest, about 40 miles. It's got a large, they got a small severe storm back in southwest Oklahoma, Frederick. A new severe thunderstorm just exploded at Temple. Uh, that's going to be east of the uh, I-44 uh, corridor, southeast of Lawton. A brand new uh, intense intensifying storm. And this brand new severe thunderstorm warning considerable. The storms back south have considerable large hail on them. Eastland all the way southwest, very large hail almost. Obviously that storm back southwest there. The key is, guys, it's 530 now. But the key is, where are these storms at 7 o'clock? At 7 o'clock, as these storms get close to the I-35 corridor and the low-level jet ramps up, you're going to go into tornado mode. I'm going to say it again. You're about two hours away max from these storms approaching the I-35 corridor, both in Oklahoma and also north central Texas. As these, as these storms move east, approach the I-35 corridor, as we get toward that 7, 8 o'clock time frame, wide over storms are ongoing at that time. If they're, if they're ongoing supercells, then the chances of the tornado threat goes up dramatically after, after that time. Okay. Right now, these are just big hail wind producers back to my southwest. I continue to head east on 82 toward Gainesville. And I'll make a determination if I'm going to hop over the river, go back into southern Oklahoma. I got lighting now in Hilton, Ryan. More stuff's developing. The only storm, South Wichita Falls, uh, it's, it's now got a more of a uh, kind of a northeast trajectory. That storm is definitely going to go to Henrietta and Terrell. That's got to cross into Oklahoma. That storm is just heavy at this point, not severe. The one storm is a left mover. New lighting now on it. New lighting up with a new cell, another cell going up with a one at Comanche. Got a new cell exploding up Bray, Oklahoma. That's southeast of Rush Springs. Two storms, both intense, not severe, rapidly developing now. Back to the south of Chickasha, due south of Chickasha, one county, south of Gr almost southern Grady County, not into Grady County yet, but it's going to cross southeast Grady County. But uh, those storms continue to intensify north of Hastings, north of Warwick. Storms continue to intensify. No, no, no circulation or anything like that. Just small hail. But they are growing. Cells are now developing in the Oklahoma City metro area. Got new cells now developing. Got to watch Oklahoma City. Got to watch these cells. Bridge Creek, west of Moore. They're, they're just very small cells. 40 DBZ storms are now developing. Piedmont, northwest sides of Oklahoma City Metro. Brand new storms are going up. Also, South Farm and Slaughterville. Brand new cells are rapidly developing now. These are very small echoes, rapidly developing. You're in a, you're in a very uh, tornadic air mass, and the dynamics are coming in now. They've got cells popping up everywhere in multiple counties at the same time. Not tornadic, not even severe, but things will change rapidly over the next 30 minutes along the I-35 corridor from Oklahoma City westward over to El Reno. El Reno, back west at Gary, new storms are exploding. 
Oklahoma City, uh, that's going to be Canadian County, Oklahoma County, Grady County, uh, McLean County, Norman, back southwest, back to Southern Cattle County, then also Comanche County, Stevens County. Storms are rapidly developing all on the 81 corridor, west side of Oklahoma City, Archer, Archer City, storm lightning's increasing there. I've got sales now uh, going up, not exploded yet, back west of Gainesville now. West of Gainesville now, new sales are going up. West of Ardmore, excuse me, west of Ardmore and northwest of Marietta, just in, in uh, southern say, Love County, Marietta area, southwest of Ardmore, new sales are going up. New lightning, new sales are going up. We're going from this stratiform rain precept, uh, and then thunderstorms are just developing out of this mid-level rain. It's just storms are just going boom. Uh, you're going from rain showers to thunderstorms to developing supercells. <laughs> That's just how this stuff happens sometimes. It's it's one of those really weird deals. But look at, if you go to radar, Oklahoma City radar, uh, TLX, you can see all kinds of little tiny cells rapidly developing now. Again, they're not super cells, but they're rapidly developing. You gotta watch these cells like a hawk. Things will happen very, very fast now once these cells start going up. The build densities are coming up now between Bridge Creek and Newcastle, west of Moore. Cells continue to intensify. Not severe yet, but they are intensifying. Storm at Bridge Creek News Castle is, ra is rapidly developing. Piedmont El Rito, storm is exploding. Uh, west, northwest, and southwest sides of Oklahoma City Metro, south of Norman, storm are exploding now. Okay, the wave's coming out now. No severe now. I got a, I got a storm that's that's very intense now. This is going to be northwest a lot. Comanche, uh, Cash, Cash now, 60 DBC. Storm with tremendous amount of lightning now. Apache, back to Medicine Lodge. Uh, storms are exploding. 55 DBCs now are rapidly developing now. That storm is, doesn't have a heavy, but it's probably going to go heavy or severe once soon. Frederick Storm, still severe thunderstorm warning. The storms are rapidly developing all in central Oklahoma, back to southwest Oklahoma, west of the I-35 corridor, and along the I-44 corridor, 30 miles either side of the I-44 corridor now. Law and Oklahoma City storms are rapidly forming now. You've got to watch all those storms coming up. It's like Oklahoma's going uncapped now. I'm giving about an hour, giving about about 6.30 to 7. I'm going to say 7 o'clock is the magic number. 7 p.m., you're probably going to have intense supercells. Don't know where they're going to be yet or which ones are going to end up being the, the big supercells. But uh, I would think these ones coming out of uh, north of Warwicka, south of Duncan, moving northeast. If they continue to get bigger and bigger, they will maybe head up just south of the metro. you got to watch those. Northwest of the metro, those cells are getting bigger and bigger. Not close to being severe yet. But it doesn't take much to push them over the top. Yeah, storms uh, now at the villages just north of Yukon. The storm northeast of Yukon is exploding. Piedmont, the storm is exploding. Tons of lightning. West of Calumet, storms are rapidly forming now. That probably is the front draw line convergence boundary just northwest of the metro. Apache, that whole area now has got about, there's about nine storms now rapidly developing. More, more down the I-44 corridor. Storm is exploding rapidly now. They're moving, they're going to move northeast at 50 miles an hour. All along Central Oklahoma, uh, Guthrie, all the way down to Norman. You need to be situation aware as these storms are rapidly forming now. So things can change rapidly here in the next 30 minutes to an hour. All of Central Oklahoma. Not severe. Okay, storms now at Piedmont and Yukon. Uh, Ville densities are rapidly climbing on those cells. They're going to go heavies on those very quickly now. No severes yet. Storm over uh, northwest a lot is now is, is gaining in intensity rapidly now. The field is coming up on them. They're both all climbing. They're all intensifying. Pretty good now. It's pretty. It's pretty amazing watching all these storms rapidly form. How how quick that happened. The storms in Oklahoma are moving more northeast, north northeast. Storms in Texas are moving east northeast. Of course, that it's kind of a splitting jet. storm coming down the interstate west of Fort Worth is uh, it's got damaging winds and a lot of big hail with it without a doubt that's going to be a, possibly a big hail producer it's got giant hail now on Fort Worth radar let me see what it shows it's got it says giant hail my health I got softball size hail now four inch diameter hail on radar 100 percent uh, velocity 30 knot Vmax Moving east northeast at 42 miles an hour. That's just under 50 miles an hour. Crawford, the town of Crawford, this is going to be Texas. Let's go to Texas. That storm west of Fort Worth going down the interstate. A very intense supercell now. Crawford, 
and then again it's going to be uh, Perlin, and then eventually it's going to be Poodville, and then Springtown. That's back. That's going to go just. That's going to be. Excuse me. That's north of the interstate. I apologize. That's north of the interstate, about 25 miles. It's heading east, east, northeast. Blair, down line. You know, Crawford and Perlin is the only one in Sevier, but Poodville, Briar, the northwest suburbs of Fort Worth. Uh, the outer ring of Fort Worth, Haskell, Haslett, Reno, Alice, and Aurora. You're, you're possibly as far north as Denton. Po I may, I can tell you right now, there's a high probability I'm going to get here to Gainesville. I'm going to start going south to Denton. I'm going to go down to south to Denton to intercept this large supercell coming out of the area back to my southwest at the bare minimum. Right now it's got softball size hail, four inch hail moving east close to 50 miles an hour. With extremely destructive hail now coming down and north of the interstate. It's going to go north of Mineral Wells, north of Weatherford. It's going to go out just northwest of the outer loop of Fort Worth. It's going to be on the outer 680 loop on the northwest side. It's going to should go, unless it turns right, it moves east southeast. But right now it's moving east northeast. Wow, pressure must be falling. Okay, this is kind of a personal deal. Uh, when my ears start popping, Means I'm, my ears, it's a long story, I won't get into it, but my, uh, when my ears start popping, that means pressure's falling rapidly. My ears are real sensitive, and my ears are popping, popping really bad right now. The pressure's falling, must be falling rapidly now across North Central Texas. I don't have time to look it up, but my ears are, my ears are hurting. But my ears, the pressure's falling rapidly, my ears are hurting. Real sensitive to, to that happening. The most severe storm right now, they got the ones in southeast. Us. This one coming out northwest of Fort Worth is absolutely a monster. Four inch diameter hail. I'm going to go softball size hail on that storm. That's what's showing on this match beach now. Softball size hail. Four inch hail now. Softball size hail coming east. Let's see what it's got on the tag. A, a base two, two and three quarter inch hail observed. Observe. Destructive spirit thunderstorm warning. Baseball size hail observed. Storm shows four inch diameter hail in it. On radar, sometimes it's just a little bit less than that. Crawford, let me select the hell core. Big gargantuan hell core. Let's see how big that hell core is. Hell core is 10 miles north south, northeast southwest, 10 mile diameter north south. It is a wide north south hell core. It's going to cover, it's going to do massive damage over a big area. If it stays at this intensity, it, whatever towns it hit, you just plan on massive damage. Storm attribute is fortunately, fortunately due east. It's almost east northeast. It's almost due east now. Storms in Oklahoma continue to intensify. No severe thunderstorm warnings on the storms that are coming up, but there are coming up. Comanche. Very intense storm now. Not severe, almost severe. Velma, Bray, very intense storm. You're just heavies there now. No severes yet. Apache storms continue to intensify. Northwest side of Oklahoma City uh, Metro, you continue to have intensifying storms. They're very small uh, supercells is what I call them. Okay, still heading east here on 82. Very concerned about this large severe supercell back west of Oklahoma, back west of Fort Worth. West, northwest of Fort Worth. Putting down large amounts of hail. Look at, look, guys, look at it. I don't know if you can tell it on my deal. Let me see my temperature. I'm, I'm 77 degrees here. Look how hazy. I want you to look at the thick, thick moisture in the air. Look at the thick moisture. It's hazy. My visibility is probably three miles in haze. It's just a very large, uh, it's, it's very saturated air mass here, right? Wow. Yeah, the storms are developing in method. Nothing super bad in the metro yet in Oklahoma City. Just be on guard. The storms are developing. The most severe storm right now is one in extreme southeast Kansas and the one to the northwest of Fort Worth. Th those are the two most destructive severe thunderstorms currently in progress. And both those storms have been producing baseball to near softball size hail. No tornadoes currently in this area. We're in the states as far as I can tell.
to the camera realm. Here I am, guys. Everybody doing all right? So let's talk about what's getting ready to happen. So you got this large supercell going northwest of Fort Worth as it tracks to the to the east northeast. You got to think about as we get toward that. You know. It's 5.30 now, so about an hour and a half, you're going to have a large supercell approaching the Metroplex by 6.30. Then you're going to have a uh, very large hail with damaging winds. And if you look at the atmosphere here, it almost looks foggy out my window here, right? It's very thick moisture outside. It's probably 70, I'm 77, 78 with probably a low 72 point. As soon as the storm gets in this environment, it's going to go, it's just going to, boom, it's going to go bad. But to get that low-level jet increasing here along the I-35 corridor, just west or just over, or just east I-35 at 7 p.m. time frame, 7, 8, 9, 10. Whatever supercells are in progress at that time, and the jet ramps up, it just it's like it just hyper, it, it just it explode. They go to they go from a supercell, and the next thing you know, it's it's got a big tornado on the ground like that when that jet ramps up. That's what's going to happen. We just got to watch which storm is it going to be. Is it going to be this one coming up down south? Is it going to be something that's developing now to my northwest, just over the border? One of those storms, and they turn right and go like this, is what the models say. We'll see what happens. But you guys start thinking, it's getting late in the day, uh, not dark, two or three hours away from dark. But uh, you've got to be watching these big supercells back to the northwest of Fort Worth and the stuff developing in southwest and south central Palma over the next hour or two as they ramp up in also Oklahoma City Metro. Do not let your guard down in and around Oklahoma City, right? And there's nothing there right now that some of the models hit at as you get to 7, 8 o'clock, even though you met that one batch may go by you. And new stuff back in Caddo County, Canadian County, Grady County could explode in the 7, 8 time. When that low level jet ramps up across Oklahoma, North Texas, stuff just goes bloom. It just blossoms everywhere. And there are big, huge supercells just take off. And I can't tell you where those are going to be, right? Somewhere in South Central Oklahoma to Southeast Oklahoma is a high threat corridor. Obviously, Northeast Oklahoma is another high threat corridor. But you can't ignore the stuff that's already going on back to my Southwest. That's a large super cell not tornadic producing large damage in hail destructive winds so it's well established and as that jet ramps up at seven that storm's going to go berserk if it's still ongoing at seven in an hour and a half from now and it probably will be probably very close to i-35 corridor then it's going to be big trouble right it's going to be big trouble as that storm comes over and patches the uh, the i-35 corridor i'm going to get on i-35 now and i'm going to go south down and down i'm going to be heading down southward that's where i'm headed now okay that's where i'm headed i'm going to enter big storm uh, coming out to my southwest here still just a large severe thunderstorm with that storm still heavy over Duncan just nothing too bad just a heavy storm there and again the cells are small very small just very small cells going up in northwest of Oklahoma City a bunch of them just a bunch of small warm air they're they're just growing they're, they're very tiny cells uh, kind of holly sheared they're they're very tiny Hang on, Smith, for say anything. Let's see something here. Now, just, just watch this. All those cells run Oklahoma City and back to your southwest. In southwest Oklahoma and Frederick, Frederick Northeast, there's a whole line of cells. It's probably the, that's definitely the uh, the wind shift line and the draw line coming east. And uh, cells are forming on the draw line and also ahead of the draw line. Okay, we're getting ready to go 35 west here. I'm going to go south here. There's Quick Trip. I was there earlier today. Quick Trip makes fantastic coffee. And they have really, really good coffee. They, they really do. They have good coffee. Quick trip. All over Texas and Oklahoma. They're based in Tulsa. Right now, I'm going to watch the storm coming out of Fort Worth. I'm heading south. My next town is down toward Denton. I'm heading toward the general direction of Denton. But I have experience with uh, supercells in the Metroplex at nighttime, unfortunately. Quite a few of them have produced tornadoes over the years. I'm not saying that's going to happen today, but that's uh, had a history of that type of stuff. Just waiting for this uh, guy to get over, and here we go. We're getting on 35 southbound. To Gainesville. We're dropping south. You want pizza from a, want pizza from a quick trip? Yeah, I understand. I don't, I don't think I've had their pizza. I may have it one time. Here we go. We're southbound and down, guys. We're gonna get ready for this storm coming in from the southwest. It actually may go, probably go south of Denton. It may go, another thing that happens, the models kind of indicate, it, it also indicated that as you, uh, as we, 
the, it's kind of hard to explain. As you, as the low-level jet ramps up, at times you get a uh, the, the, the storms can even though they've been moving east, as the jet ramp ramps up, the storms can actually start lifting kind of more to the northeast or northeast because as the jet ramps up, it pushes a storm and wants to shove it to the north, right? As that jet ramp ramps up, so we'll see actually how this unfolds. But right now it's moving due east. Uh, kind of an east-northeast strike. It may start moving more harder northeast, and uh, we'll know over the next 30 minutes the general track of, you know, hey, where's that thing going to head? Where's it going to, you know, go just south of Decatur? Right now, I, I would have it going south of Decatur, s very s probably close in south of Denton. Would be my just based on its current track and uh, attributes uh, and its history. It's kind of east-northeast. That's kind of what it looks like to me right now. Looks like did we get a warning out of Oklahoma? Uh, special weather statement, no. Special weather statement, northeast of Parade. A special weather statement down south of Duncan. Just lots of activity continues to develop there. I'm gonna go south and see what this Texas storm does. It's basically moving pretty much due east. It's at Crawford right now. Big hill core, lots of wind. It's got lots of wind with it. southwest but uh but it had baseball hail in it but uh hail course probably closer to golf ball now yeah the hail course dropped a little bit coming into crawford that's a good thing and pearl and pooville is the next one in that general area then aurora now right now i've got it going north of fort worth unless it turn unless it turns right it's going to stay north it's going to go aurora blair north lake justin Justin area, Trophy Club, that general area, Louisville, Tim Marshall's place. He's out chasing it today. Louisville, he's got probably another big hill claim. North side of the, that storm is coming down in intensity right now. It's weakening in intensity. We'll see what happens. No guarantees what's going to happen with that storm. But maintain. Sometimes these storms will look, you know, like they're going to keep going, and then they just they'll die, right? And you, you never know why. Season, what it does, it's uh, got a heavy back to my northwest, got a couple of heavies in south around one morning in southwest Oklahoma, and a heavy back west of Lawton. Lots of lighting there. Again, nothing, nothing too earth shattering right now. We've got heavy back and uh, jump back to the storm back in extreme southeast. Nothing too bad now. The storms are going northwest of Joplin. Looks like this. Standard supercells, nothing too out of control. Okay, I do have no tornado warnings, but I have some pretty intense supercells now. One's going to be going into the St. Louis uh, Metro soon. Got very intense supercell now west of west of uh, St. Louis, showing signs of rotation now. It's going to be back, yeah, New Orleans area, Washington, Missouri. That's got to basically be heading right towards St. Louis Airport. Near and just north of St. Louis Airport. Very close to it. If I go north, the south of O'Fallon, Cottonville, Defiance, and north of Wildwood. Storm with a developing hook is in Washington, Washington, Missouri. The models forecasted tornadoes in St. Louis at 7 p.m. I'd say there's a high probability that storm's going to start tornadoes approaching St. Louis. That's one. There's another large supercell back to the west, south of Jefferson City. That storm also looks very tornadic looking signature on it as well. It's also rotating with very large hail on it. That's back in Columbia, back on I-70, back. This is in northern Missouri along the warm front, or just south of the warm front. St. Louis storm and the next storm both look very, very severe. And uh, they are fired late, but they're, they're getting their act together. Now I've got a severe, uh, that a severe, yeah, I've got a severe thunderstorm warning now. Northwest sides of Oklahoma City. That just went severe warned. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that storm is uh, mainly it's a hailer right now. It's going to be uh, just to the southeast and east northeast of Kingfisher. That storm looks like it's producing hail now. Uh, one inch diameter hail, severe thunderstorm warning. 
It's going to be Kingfish County, get ready to go to Northwest Logan County, south of Marshall, Crescent. You got storms rapidly developing all in the Crescent area, northwest of Edmond, north of Edmond. Not severe yet, but you got rapidly developing thunderstorms. The storm definitely in Kingfish County is severe. There's another one in West Arcarchy, very close to being severe. Big, those are big hill producers ramping up. This line developing back Union City, back southwest, kind of a small little line. The storm back at uh, Mountain Park is starting to anchor on that Adelot line and maybe some kind of confluence line. Man, it's, that storm back southwest is going up that line. You got to always, when you see that on a line of storms, and a tell Charlie storm has been persistent for a while now, it's starting to anchor on that line. You got to watch it. So, the four most intense storms we've got right now is the stuff coming into St. Louis, Columbia, Missouri. stuff uh, northwest of Oklahoma City, southwest Oklahoma, and then also the storm west, uh, northwest of Fort Worth. Those are the five most intense supercells in the, in the uh, tornado watch area right now. There is a severe thunderstorm watch down here, but a tornado watch up north in Oklahoma. Sometimes these things don't always go as planned. Is the feed working? Everybody see me okay? Are they good? Okay. Everything's fine, guys. Nothing to get worried about right now. It's just giving you updates on what's where. The two newest severe storms that are probably the most interesting as far as tornado production the one over Jefferson 70. Those are ramping up and got very strong uh, orange hell in them and potentially uh, more as they come east. Right now, once the storm to the northwest, west northwest of Fort Worth, no tornado, just rotation. Again, kind of more straight line damaging winds with large hail at this point. Nothing too bad at this point, but it's got large hail. Just got some hail reported there. One inch hail just now being reported at Crawford, just west of Crawford. Radar shows an inch of core, so that's about what the radar is estimating, and that's what's been reported, about one inch hail. So it's went from baseball hail west of there. Uh, it, it has come down considerably from what it was about 30 minutes ago. It's about 77, 78 degrees on I-35 north of Dallas-Fort Worth, Fort Worth, and the uh, very humid skies here, very uh, thick moisture in the air. It's, it's, it feels literally like a like you're getting ready for a hurricane. Just very, very sultry outside, very sticky air mass. The storm right now continues to move east, east, north. It's moving about 200. 50 degrees, maybe 260. Looks like it's going to go to Perlin and just north of Pooville. Probably go south of Decatur. Looks like it'll go very close or south of Denton. Very close to Denton or just south of Denton when it comes through. I'm going to get down here and get ready for it. I'm rapidly approaching Sager now, about five miles north of Sager. And I'm going to get down in front of this storm and see what, we'll see what happens. As the storms come this way, the, uh, the models do suggest that they, uh, that's interesting, the attributes now are, are starting to get, uh, starting to uh, lift instead of east, so moving kind of east, east, northeast, kind of, they're starting to bend a little bit more to the left now as they approach, as they come in from the west here, as they start encountering stronger winds out of the south, which should continue to increase over the next couple hours, that storm may get have a, a Push to the northeast, more to the more to the north towards current position, which may take it closer to Decatur and maybe over Denton. Instead of some, Decatur, Denton area, just that's kind of the track.
up with zebra thunderstorms in North Oklahoma City, Northwest Oklahoma City. Kingfisher, Crescent area, continue to have those storms are continuing to intensify. They mainly look, don't see any strong rotation, but more of a hill threat versus a tornado threat. The hail threat is increasing and is increasing. Now, both those storm Kingfisher, Crescent, both of them are getting bigger and bigger hail. We have to jump all the way down here west of, northwest of Fort Worth to find the next storm that's uh, you know more on that severe side. Once I land all these storms down here, uh, we'll uh, follow them east of 35. We'll see what happens. So it's about an inch and a half. It did trip a TBS just now. Fort Worth radar. Wow, that was interesting. Huh. It's embedded. Just had a TBS trip over Crawford. Kind of an inbound out down there. Yeah, I had this almost a QCL type sped up maybe. No, no warning yet, just kind of an inbound outbound. Robert Crawford, about to have more of a QCL type of situation. The storms are moving east, northeast. Matter of fact, if I stop right here at Sanger, the northern part of that storm will hit Sanger based on the latest attribute. And they're, they're moving. The northern end of that line is moving. Uh, inch and three quarter tail, considerable damage. 65 mile hour winds. That's the northern part of that large supercell south of Jacksboro. is going to be on the northern end of the really bad supercell. Hillville and Aurora will be closer to the, the more damage area of hail. See how these things split out and shake out. Sanger, you're uh, about to come into Sanger now from I-35. Head southbound. If you look south, you can see partly cloudy over the Dallas Metroplex. You can see the broken clouds, mid-level deck. Matter of fact, you can see a really nice, big, thick able to between the uh, kind of a cream white back west is kind of a thick haze with a big thick ambles back to my west coming at me. Can't see any storm structure because of all the thick haze. Still severe, still severe, still severe. St. Louis, let's see, I'm going to jump back to it real quick. The large severe storm. Okay, uh, damaging winds for sure. Very damaging winds. It's it's uh, yeah. The storm is rotating, ramping up. Very very destructive. Severe thunderstorm uh, west of St. Louis. We've got even a just northeast of Washington. Got a small hook pinage now has formed. Kind of QCL type deal. Look at this number. Wow. Got 96 mile an hour winds inbound inflow to the storm. 96 inbound to that storm. That's ridiculous. 96 mile an hour inbound. Uh oh, hang on, let me see if we're gonna go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, off the terminal dolper out of St. Louis, I almost said you've got a developing tornado inbound, outbound, now couplets intensifying. That's gonna be just to the north of Washington, kind of an inbound, outbound couplet forming. It's 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 very close to what put down a tornado north of Washington and west of Augusta. This is west of St. Louis. West southwest of St. Louis. Watch that storm closely. Shows it's very damaging winds and a couple of this intensifying. Does have a little bit of a it does have an RFD as well. Kind of like a downbar signature, but it also has very strong inbound outbound around that storm. This is west of St. Louis with destructive hail as well. Now they're gonna have very bad hail coming in that direction. So it's two and a half inch hail, not quite baseballs. It's going to go just north of Augusta, the Big Hill, Defiance, and it's going to almost go right over the airport. It's going to go right toward the, uh, the ILX radar site. South of O'Fallon, it's going to be real close to the airport. <coughs> St. Louis Airport may take a direct hit with a very large hill, possibly. Now, that storm is getting meaner and meaner. It's, at the very minimum, it's going to produce extremely destructive winds and very damaging hail. In St. Louis, West Side of St. Louis, basically what I'm seeing. 
Yeah, North Oklahoma State storm to go right. South of Jefferson on I-70, that storm is, is ramping up dramatically. Yeah, North of Oklahoma City, their cells are just continuing to intensify. They're mainly hail producers. Kind of a segmented line. Right? We'll continue to go south here. Let's see what we get. Dallas Metroplex. Coming down to Denton, and I'll be able to make a decision to go west or I might go east. But I'm rapidly approaching Denton now, about 8 10 miles from Denton now. Let's see which way this bad, big bad storm is going to come into the metro here. Let's see what it's going to do. It's, uh, it's okay, but I'd say the, the trend with the storm west northwest of the Fort Worth is, is going down. It's weakened, weakening. Um, it still could pulse right back up. You know, right this minute, the hail threat has come down on it dramatically um, as it's rocking into the east northeast now. Storms southwest of that, or the hail threat's still pretty high. You know, core golf ball hail back south of that storm. That that would probably affect more of the south metro, downtown Fort Worth, into the south part of the metro. But right now, that storm, at least the hail threat, looks like to me it's, it's come down considerably over the last, let's call it 10 minutes. Which is good, good news right there. But the storm back west there is still producing damaging straight line winds. Northwest of Fort Worth. Shows an inch and a half, east northeast of 40 knots. That'll put it Aurora Justin. Aurora Justin. Well, since it's coming down, I'm gonna I think I'm gonna do the, the east split. I'm gonna go to the northeast side of the Metroplex. Well, I may even just take Ditton the eastward. Get down here to Ditton and uh, make a decision. I'm going to top off gas and uh, make a decision whether I go east. Hold there and see, see what this storm does as far as uh, its decision. 380. I think there's a gas station right where I want to turn. There it is. And there it is. Let me go to the quick truck. I can see the anvil of the storm back southwest now. See the thunderstorm tower. It's back to up left, right. And you can see the ACAST mid level uh, cooling coming in. See all the ACAST ahead of me? That's going to be over the, the north side of the Dallas Metroplex. That's cool air aloft at mid levels coming in. Help weaken the cap. Break the cap, get storms going, which is they're already going. It's that cold air loft is rapidly coming out. That scent, the rising air, and uh, the cold air loft is coming out rapidly now. Good news is that so far it has not been uh, super out of control with uh, the storms yet. Uh, that's I don't know if it'll maintain that or not, but we'll see. No tornado warnings close to us, Jefferson City or St. Louis. Storm in St. Louis has got my attention. It's just a very severe thunderstorm. It's got a very large hell court and continues to grow. Well, that storm west of St. Louis, southwest of St. Louis, moving east northeast. So it's baseball size hell now. Muscle cyclones intensifying. Baseball size hills intensifying now. Back to the west, southwest of St. Louis. Very severe storm now. North of Washington is going to be going to the Alliance area. Wow. Extremely large hell. It's heading right for the ILX uh, St. Louis. Uh, Radar site. It's going to go right over the radar site, the Hill Court. It's very close to the airport. The track's going to be just near or north of Chesterfield. It's going to go right through the western and northwestern sides of St. Louis Metro. You've also got another storm exploding on the northeast side of St. Louis. That's another supercell exploding, lifted northeast. 
Wow. It's tore back at Chillicothe back to its west. It is, uh, looks pretty tense. Okay. So that's two miles, 2.9 miles. I get to exit to Cater. And I'm going to hit Quick Trip, grab gas, and let's see what the storm back west does. If it's going to get to anything. I'm going to, my intent is to follow these storms off to the east of 35. And let's see what they do. Severe thunderstorms, mainly just orange hail uh, back to the northwest of Oklahoma City Metro, no, nothing tornadic, just kind of a line of uh, hailers at this point. There is some there is some rotation, slowly ramping up, nothing tornadic, just storms are slowly starting to spin now, northwest of Oklahoma City, with severe thunderstorm warnings. Kingfisher, looks like Logan County up there. Just need to watch that. West side of Oklahoma City, you got just heavy storms developing. Gary, and then equally, you got other heavy storms out there. Again, South Central Oklahoma and Texas, where we're was supposed to be the worst today, so far it's it's not it's not materialized, which is good news. So far, the more intense stuff is just northwest of the metro. We have this one storm down here, this anchoring storm. Let's see what happens as it goes east, northeast. There's no telling. You see my winds are out of the southeast there. I'm heading due south. It's about a 150, probably wind at about 25. So you've got a stronger low level jet. See how the winds are back over here on I-35? It's 6 o'clock, you get 7 o'clock, you get the low level jet, low, low jet ramping up as it comes across 75, and then uh, you got you got trouble. Off of 380 here. We're going to decide whether to go east. This is heavy populated, very dense uh, industrial housing, it's hundreds of thousands of houses, probably millions of houses and units. Uh, this is very heavy, uh, densely populated areas. This area is no stranger to very large hailstorms in this area, dead Decatur. Uh, it happens a couple times a year generally. So I'm getting off here at this exit. I'm going to go over here to Quick Trip, grab some gas decide whether to go down further south of the metro or since the storm is not what I call out of control right now I probably take this time and get to the northeast of the metro away from the traffic let the same you know see what it's going to do if it's going to go into crazy mode or if it's going to just be kind of wimpy as it crosses, crosses the metro okay, so let me go across the intersection and back on the surf road okay here we go Across the surface road, here's 380, four lane, there we go, go up here, and it says I've got a road right there, there it is, well it comes up quick, really quick, there we go, discount tires, and tires are in good shape, here we go, the back way into quick trip, I can tell you the last four times I've been to this quick trip, Something really bad's happened after the visit here. Okay, I'm gonna lose connection, guys. I go.